Very funny man coming to the stage. You've seen him on Spike TV and NBC. Give it up for Harrison Greenbaum, everybody. Harrison Greenbaum. All right, thank you, guys. Uh, so my name is Harrison Greenbaum. I uh, graduated from Harvard, and now I'm doing this full time. So my parents are <laughs> thrilled. Actually, right before I went to college, my grandmother gave me two boxes of condoms, two boxes. And I was like, Grandma, why, why would you do that? And she just looked up at me, this cute little Jewish woman, and she said, because they're on sale. <laughs> which is like the worst reason ever to buy condoms. And they were magnums, which is presumptuous. <laughs> if you didn't love that last joke, it's because you don't know what presumptuous means. <laughs> Google that when you get home. My mom is cool too. She tries to use all the slang that she hears my friends and I use around the house, right? She's like, hey Harrison, I'm gonna go hook up with my girlfriends. I was like, mom, that means make out. She's like, oh, I thought it meant sleep with. See what I mean? She is, she's, she's a lesbian in that joke. Is everybody on the bus? All right, next stop. This comedy train's going express. People think I'm gay. All right, good reaction. Because uh, <laughs> I'm straight, I'm straight, shut up. I, was, <laughs> I said I'm straight, he looks up at me like, no, you like men, I can see it in your face. That's the same face my mom makes every time I come home for the holidays. <laughs> Thanksgiving was awkward. <laughs> mom, pass the stuffing. I know you like stuffing, that's not. And it's weird, right? Because once people think you're gay, there's no proving that you're straight, right? Like, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, like, right? Like, if you walked in on me and I was just making out with a dude, right? Don't get excited. But if I was just, I'm crossing if I was just making out with a dude, you walk in, you'd look at me, you'd be like, he is definitely gay. And that's reasonable. But you walk in on me, I'm making out with a woman, you look at me, you're like, he's fooling himself. And that's... <laughs> Not that it doesn't have its advantages, though, you know what I mean? Like, nobody asked me to donate blood, so that's good. <laughs> that's an HIV joke, high five. All right, never mind. I, never, I didn't make things easy, you know? I was a magician in high school. <laughs> Word of advice, if you don't want people to think you're gay, don't do magic. So many sparkles. <laughs> Although, you know, I, I, I just got into a fight with my, uh, my girlfriend. My girlfriend, screw you guys. Um, no, no, she's imaginary, but definitely a girl. And she, she wants me to be more like Jesus. And I was like, I'm a slightly effeminate Jew who can do magic tricks. How much closer can I get? You don't have that last joke, Wikipedia Jesus. <laughs> and then Google presumptuous again. I live in New York, I love being a New Yorker. I live across the street from this building. It's shaped like a, a staircase, so each terrace juts out slightly further than the one above it. And this is a true story, this happened like two weeks ago. This guy tried to kill himself, so he jumped. <laughs> and he only made it like three stories down. So he jumped again. <laughs> Still didn't die, jumped a third time. Finally killed himself. And I realized if I was watching that, I would start off horrified, but then be rooting for him. I'd be at the base of the building like, don't do it, don't do it, you can do it. I know you failed at everything, but succeed at this. I've been trying to date. I started doing the online dating, which is way better than regular dating. I think it is, right? Like if you go to a bar and you talk to a hot girl and you get her phone number, you can't go to the hot girl next to her and be like, control C, control V, everything I just said. <laughs> and, it's, and it's a tough city, right? New York City, it's a tough city. 
You need so much energy just to get through the day. I use those five-hour energy drinks. Have you seen those things? Those little five-hour energy drinks? They're amazing. Competing company came out with a six-hour energy drink. So to get them back, five-hour energy drink company came out with a seven-hour energy drink. And I hope that continues, right? I hope there's like an eight-hour energy drink, then a nine-hour energy drink, then a 10-hour energy drink, then crystal meth. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> gonna start calling Dwayne Reed Club Dwayne. It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> I, get to, I get outside of the city, though, sometimes. I got to go to Jamaica recently. It's an awesome place. In Jamaica, there's a place called Rick's Cafe. It's a restaurant built on the edge of a cliff. And they actually let you get drunk and jump off of it. Because evidently Jamaicans don't care about repeat business. And I was one of the people who made the jump. I got to the edge of the cliff, there's a Jamaican lifeguard over here, and I asked him if he had any advice for me before I made the jump, right? And he looked right at me, he said, be as straight as possible, remain as straight as you can be. And I was all offended, I was like, this is really not the time. So I made the jump, I made the jump. And when you jump and there was like 35 feet between you and water, there was a lot of time to regret your decision. <laughs> I'm literally falling through the air, text messaging all my friends like, you'll never guess where I am right now. And then like this in the slightly seated position, very painful and very awkward because I got home and everybody was like, hey Harrison, how was Jamaica? And I was like, it's great, but my butt really hurts. <laughs> Should have stayed straight. <laughs> you guys have been great. My name is Harrison Greenbaum. Thanks so much. <laughs>